Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Danny here. So, I'm gonna be showing to you guys the electric scooter craze here in Brisbane. So, I have with me the awesome 08X. Yeah, look at that. Uh, so, it is dual motor powered and it is a beast. It can go up to 55 kilometers per hour and can go up to 65 I think 75 kilometers per single charge and uh, the max uh, weight or load support it can um, support is 120 kilos so it has dual brake discs and um, dual motors 800 watt each but can go up to 2300 watts peak performance so this is a mighty fine beast yeah, this 08X. Yeah, look at that. Close up. All right. So it even has dual suspensions. It's a very smooth ride. It has LED um, lightings at the bottom of the platform. And then uh, front and rear lights, the headlights. It has the tail lights. So when you brake, um, it makes, uh, it, it blinks. Yeah, to sort of warn people that you're braking yeah so the tires though they're they're wide but curvy um, so they're not really wide that it hinders your ability to be agile and fluid so it's better than the Mercane white wheel and um, there's the spring suspension if you can see there yeah and it's very solid it's it's well built even the platform yeah so it is much smaller than the 10x which is more pricier but i think it is the best scooter you can get um uh it's a good purchase because it's not too expensive like those high end you're basically paying for if you get other scooters branded scooters like the dualtron or inokim in my opinion i think you're basically paying for the brand so this scooter in terms of performance and um, performance per price ratio or uh it's really good bang for your buck so yeah because um dual motors and definitely cheaper than inokim oxo and that yeah so the trend right now is i'm not going to talk too much the trend right now is that people have been using these electric scooters as sort of a last mile uh, mode of transportation so what that means is um they'll use uh, the public transportation system like the rail railways subways bus um from their house to get there um but then the last mile means that from the um, station to their workplace they need like a good way to uh, get to their um, offices or workplace um, wherever they work at so this is good because you can actually it's not too big for you to bring on trains but or you can just go commute to your workplace because the range is around 65 kilometers plus I think 70 I I'll give you a description right now yeah, I'll show it to you right now um but yeah so this is all the craze right now they are legal in Queensland and it's very torquey it goes really fast and I think I'm like 90 plus kilos um, but damn dude guys holy shit it's very torquey it's gonna just shoot you straight ahead um, if you're not careful and you can actually do um, there's yeah there's this button here uh, there's a single mode and a dual mode motor mode and then the eco turbo button adjustment um, and it comes with uh, LED, uh, yeah, LCD screen display. Let me turn it. Oh yeah. And also another thing why I got this, um, I think th I prefer this one over other um, high-end scooters is that it comes with a key. So let's say if you want to stop in front of a shop, instead of just um, you know taking time to just wrap your um, chain around this thing, you can just simply take out the key and prevent people from stealing or having access to your scooter and yeah so this is the voltage meter readout yeah so okay I'll show you guys how it looks like I'm not sure if you guys can see it but yeah see I can change the brightness though but there um, that's my odometer 40 kilometers so far and it's very torquey so it, it's not like one of those kickstart sc scooters it just goes from dead stop and very fast too it can put, bring you up hills 
I live in a very hilly area and this shit goes way fast incredibly fast guys so yeah um, I've uh, I haven't pushed the I haven't pushed the throttle all the way but um, like almost all the way but so far I've managed to get this thing over 40 kilometers per hour plus it's very dangerous so you need to be well protected don't forget your helmet um, because this thing it's it's sort of when you're not used to it it's very um, unpredictable because you know you uh, the throttle even though it's smooth but sometimes um, when you're not used to your fingers adjusting it can get a little bit jerky so yeah just be careful and watch out guys so in the next couple of minutes I'll just show you guys um, a couple of clips of me uh, going up hills and um, just riding around my local town all right all right guys see ya take care okay stay tuned all right all right guys so this is how the zero would look like with the lights on look at that look at that Amazing.